I'm sitting outside the hospital right now before going into my 40 week appointment. I do not feel super great, but I've felt like this for probably the past two weeks. I've got really bad dull pain in my lower back and I've had some contractions, but nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm hoping to go ask the doctor today, like why they're waiting till 41 weeks to induce me, even though everyone keeps telling me that the baby is large. Um, so I guess we'll see, but, um, this could be, I mean, this is my last appointment. So it's either appointment and then natural birth or appointment and then induction a week from today. So March 3rd, 2020, I've been saying this date for what seems like forever and it's finally here, which is crazy. So let's see what the doctor says. been a hot second since my update so I let you know we were going into the appointment while well, a ton of stuff <laughs> happened today basically we asked like if little man's gonna be so big why are we waiting so long to induce and the doctor was like you know what actually you're right um let us check on appointments so basically a bunch of other stuff happened but I'll save you the details there and so then they called us back and said you can keep your appointment next Tuesday which is the 10th or today on the 3rd we have an opening at 8 p.m. So we took the appointment, we just got done like calling people, texting people. Right now I am doing a few things. I am working, it's also lunchtime, so I am making sure that my video that is part of a collaboration on Friday is all set, so I don't have to worry about that, it will all go up. And then tonight at 8 p.m. we will go in for an induction. Whoa, that is crazy. So it is officially 7.13. We were supposed to go in at 8, but they called and pushed us back. So I'm sitting here with Sebastian, Uncle Reed, and we're watching the Super Tuesday results because that's all we can do. Alex went to go grab us some dinner so we don't have to clean up the dishes because it is nice and clean in our house. So now we just wait until we can go to the hospital and start this process. Ready for this? I am so ready for this. So we made it to the hospital. We are in the room. It's like 11:15, almost 11:20, based on the yeah. clock. Oh, and you're fine. We're just documenting this for. So this is a very roomy room. Yeah, there's a lot of room in also here. For activities. Yeah, right. Some <laughs> so here's the room, real quick. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of space in here. Little baby warmer. It is like crazy that we're here and this is happening, but um, nothing too crazy should happen until tomorrow, but they said they have a ton of C-sections happening. I was supposed to be here at eight. They pushed us back. We called at 9.30. They said, come at 11. So we're here at 11. We did a good amount of walking because we went to the wrong door, but you know, that's fine. And yeah, so now I'm gonna get changed into a gown and it's officially go time. So can't wait to meet you, little man. Your dad's also excited. <laughs> right, so it's 12.15 a.m. I'm looking like a million bucks, but they got my IV in um, and we're just chilling. Got a little man on the monitor and um, now I just have to hang out. I can't eat or drink for an hour, um, but I'm gonna try to watch some TV and relax because this is like probably the last night of <laughs> any sort of sleep I will get for a while. So. Um, yeah, I don't think anything else crazy will happen tonight. They said I'm same as I was this morning, so hopefully this medicine works tonight and we will re-approach in the morning. How do you feel this morning, Dad? You got some sleep. You got a little cot action over there. 
Yeah. I didn't sleep that well. I mean, we got, what, two hours maybe? Mm. Mm. So I'm sitting on the chair. Right next to this monitor. Hopefully today is your birthday, little man, and we don't um, go over into tomorrow. Feeling like an absolute hot mess right now, but you know, that's what it is. I'm seeing you back here. Got a ton of contractions happening. Breaking out like crazy. Winning. <laughs> 11.15, I've gotten bumped up a few times on my Pitocin, and I'm sitting here watching the Food Network while Alec Fun got food, which is stupid because I'm starving, but it's like the best thing that's on right now because I can't watch any more Super Tuesday coverage, so there you go. side to do some recovery and then grandparents and aunts and uncles and everybody are coming tomorrow so we're gonna try to get some rest but holy moly this was the best day of our life what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain So today is Friday, March 6th And we are getting ready to get discharged We cannot wait to take Finn home And have him meet Sebastian hey, Bibi, you ready to meet your brother? Got somebody new for you to meet Do you want to meet your brother? Can you put down your toy? Okay, 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 okay. Gentle. 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 Hey, you gotta be gentle. Sit down. You gotta be gentle. Okay. This is your brother, Sebastian. His name is Finn. Can you smell him? This is his little brother we've been talking about. This is your little brother. This is your brother, Finn. Is he nice? You can't, you can't. Gentle. Gentle. You can smell him, though. Gentle. Does he smell nice? Does he smell like that blanket? <laughs> 